Okay, thank you for uh, inviting me to this session and gave me an opportunity to speak here. Um, and also a very nice present presentation from the previous speaker. Uh, so I'm going to speak about um, a concept that we have been developing called the Internet of Virtual Things. Um, and we want to see how that can be used in the Industry 4.0 concept. So like um, uh, Dr. Neha introduced, um, I'm uh, also the co-founder of AV Labs. Uh, by the way, we also have offices in, uh, in India and our co-development offices in Champaign, Illinois. Uh, so uh, our uh, core business is creating real world experience uh, in uh, virtual plant tours uh, for education, upscaling, collaboration and design. Uh, the company was started by myself and my co-founder co colleague. And we have been working in this space for over 25 years each. So it's a very long uh, history in the area of virtual reality. The original technology was developed in my lab at the University of Illinois, and uh, we licensed the technology. And ever since, we have been growing the business and, uh, uh, and addressing some really key challenges that industry faces. That's what I'm going to talk today about. So industry 4.0 is a, is a buzzword uh, that uh, essentially talks about how uh, millions of uh, data points coming in the, uh, through, uh, through internet can be used and leveraged to improve your health, uh, health of your uh, industry. I mean, it could um, be data coming from, um, from machines, it could be data from uh, material handling, uh, or it could be any of the data that uh, really helps in running very large organizations. So uh, one part of that, um, which we very often use is the word internet of things, which essentially talks about any device that is hooked onto the network. And today it is almost any device literally that can be networked. Even though the idea of collecting data has been around for a very long time, um, even 20, 25 years back, uh, there have been really good work on taking data from from manufacturing and putting it in neural network and trying to do some predictive anal analytics. Now, if you look at what has happened in industry 4.0, the idea that you can take data and do some work on neural network have not changed. And the results that we see today is not significantly different than what we have been doing in the lab in the 90s and so on and so forth. And one of the reasons is that designing uh, intelligent systems is actually very complicated. So if you think of data, I will just uh, talk about a few. Say, for example, data coming from machining. Uh, anything that happens on a machine today can be collected, including RPM and, and the toolware and so on and so forth. Uh, also of the data flowing, uh, parts flowing inside the plant, uh, safety data, quality data coming from uh, objects, from uh, optical tracking to whatever data you pick. So these data uh, actually overwhelm um, and it is very, very hard to build uh, complicated AI systems. Most of the implications, like I said, is fairly straightforward, usually, usually done for classification. Also predictive analytics, like when is this motor going to, going to fail or something like that. Uh, more data analytics, and if you want to apply deep learning, you have to really understand where the data is, how do you connect to, um, to an underlying digital model and so on and so forth. So the solution is that uh, we have to develop better fusion of multiple data uh, and uh, try to see if we can automate some of the deep learning processes so we don't have to sit and customize and design. And finally, one of the important link, missing link in Industry 4.0 concept big, in, in a big way is the human decision-making process. And that happens because for human beings, it is very hard to visualize all the data and uh, so these data remain very disparate and you cannot integrate uh, together. So fine tuning parameters become extremely complicated. So, so we've been thinking, um, you know, how can you solve this problem? So uh, building digital twins is a, uh, is a big concept that many large organizations, including IBM is trying to, uh, to push. So we've been thinking, what is actually digital twin if you want to look at it from an IoT perspective? And that would integrating AI and integrating virtual information, virtual reality information. So we, if you merge all of them, what we get is not just an internet of things, but internet of virtual things. And the concept comes from the fact that the data that is coming can be used for modeling, or can be used for visualizing and so on and so forth and get an, get an, an, an insight 
into the company that does not exist by pure sensor data. So we have been developing some core technologies around that and we have built some small use cases. So this is, I would categorize as R&D at this point of time, but we are also looking for live customers through whom we can apply these systems. So we start by taking 360 degree video of a plant and then we can take variety of data. It could, maybe it comes from sensors, maybe these are video, maybe these are um, uh, a PLM data. We can merge that into our software and then we can update this information on the cloud and apply some artificial intelligence concept. It could be for assessment, data feedback, and then develop a digital twin for that. So after we collect that data, what we do is we build a dashboard, which we broadly, uh, sometimes we call it an air view dashboard, which is basically a dashboard that integrates the IOVT system that I mentioned uh, in this. Like, so for example, in this figure, you see that dashboard has information coming from the machines, which is the blue circles we see. This can be data coming from a robot, material handling system. It could be uh, data coming from uh, uh, tooling and so on and so forth. And then on the right-hand side, you see discrete simulation data. These are data that can be run through discrete unit simulation, giving the same data that you're using for production planning and, and so on and so forth. Now, all of these things are merged into a dashboard and this dashboard can be made available for people who are designing AI system or uh, use, or it can also be used at the C-suite level for looking at the health of your uh, plant. So it has two different uh, stream of data. On the top is the data that represents the, the digital twin. And that data includes things like the 3D assets for your factory. It includes simulation models, includes the data model, and you can apply various different kinds of um, discrete event simulation and it gives data and that discrete event simulation can be used to program AI or M uh, AI or machine learning system. On the bottom, what you see is the real data that is coming in and this data can be used for uh, the 360 real video uh, data that I mentioned earlier. And then that data also can be applied to uh, Uh, data. So what you get by this is a, is a network where you can have multiple people through the cloud interacting with each other and looking at the status of your entire factory. And we have actually, this system is actually current and we are using it for many. So you can see this is an implementation of a system. It's in a very small plant. It's just a 40 second video. So what you see is a plant from the plant. You can go and pull this dashboard. And in this dashboard, you can put information like coming from machines, you can get information coming from uh, all of these different data. And then you can do this from anywhere. In fact, uh, you don't have to be inside the plant. You could be sitting in Germany and analyzing a system. And then at the same time, using the Edmont displays, you can pull the digital data as well. You can do some predictive, like for example, here you're trying to see uh, what, you know, what is happening from the safety in your plant and all of these things can be merged together. So, so like I mentioned, we do have a current system and our plan is to implement this in a real industrial partners and see how this concept can use in large enterprise decision-making. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Kesh, for proposing the new concept of internet uh, of virtual things and also explaining the ways of adoption. We look forward to seeing industries adopting the solution and getting the benefits. Thank you very much.